Wrestling Rampage here, back with another video. That's right, and today we're doing a little discussion about this uh, documentary, uh, and you guys can watch it on YouTube. It, they have it on YouTube. Um, yeah. Uh, this was a special on NBC back in 1998. <clears throat> it was called Exposed, Pro Wrestling's Greatest Secrets. And, uh, well, they didn't expose much secrets I saw. No, they did not. Uh, and oh, then, shit, private fans are too stupid not to know, I guess. They thought, you know. Well, and, and some of them wouldn't have been accurate, really. I mean, uh, and, of course, some of the people that took place in this, they had, uh, they had the All-American boy, Ben Hurt, which is kind of fucking stupid, uh, Skull Duggery, um, Slither, and uh, Brash Knuckles. Uh, those were, like, local indie wrestlers that couldn't really get a break, and they just, they signed a contract to them to do in this, uh, in this film, uh, documentary thing. And then, uh, you also had Brute Force, which was actually Gary Wolf, and his partner, uh, Anthony Durant, uh, which was, uh, uh, Colossus, uh, as you guys know, the, the the names sound familiar. They were both from ECW, as uh, as the, the Pitbulls. Pit yeah. Yep. Um, and also uh, there was one more guy in here, and his name was Private Pain. And if you guys watched the documentary on uh, Beyond the Mat, uh, there was a guy who got a tryout match with Tony Jones, named uh, Michael Modest. And uh, you know uh, he he goes on to uh, you know do that, and he's done some. Uh, independent stuff, had some tryouts, he wrestled in WCW, um, you know, just uh, here and there. Um, <clears throat> and actually, uh, uh, Michael Modest actually talks about this uh, documentary on uh, wrestling with regret. Give uh, him a cheap plug here. That's right, uh, go, go check his channel out, he does some great stuff on his channel too. Um, uh, he, does a, he does an interview with... Uh, with Brian Zane on there, and uh, he talks about how uh, they they got signed to a contract. Michael they, Modest, yeah, me. yeah, Michael Modest, that they got signed to a contract to do this, uh, that they got that they got lied to about yeah. about what the documentary was going to be about, but they already signed the contract, so they had to go through with it. Um, but uh, you want to go on uh, Wrestling Regret uh, with Brian Zane and uh, check out that uh, that interview. Uh, now on pro, on uh, expo Exposed, Pro Wrestling's Greatest Secrets, they talk about the basics. And don't forget the narrator here. Yes. Was the fucking cat off Sabrina and Teenage Witch. So what the fuck does he know about wrestling? There you go. But all he knows about is doing stuff with cats. But uh, the, the basics of wrestling. All the basics. That's right. You, you go back to the basics a lot when it comes to professional wrestling. Oh, yeah. The basic body slam. Oh. Where you tuck the chin when you fall. And yeah, you don't... I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh God. That's something I did not know, boo. Oh, God. Uh, and then the uh, then the weak-ass punch. Oh, oh. And those punches are pulled. Oh. No closed fist. fist. Open, Open fist. fist. Yeah, oh. Closed Open. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, God. And you barely touch him. Oh, didn't know that. Oh. Uh, then you got the stomp. Which I don't consider a wrestling move, to be honest with you. When they, when they, when they punch, they stomp, and, oh, well, you know, if, if you've ever been to a live event, you can tell that they're stomping, you yeah. fucking morons. Yeah, how stupid uh, can you be? Then you got the classic kick. Oh, yeah. And then your last one is the headbutt. Yeah, the old headbutt. Where you where you grab them and and you hit your your uh, your thumb or the inside of your your hand there to to create the illusion that you actually hit them. Yeah. Which leads us into selling. I'll try the old selling. Which uh, if, if you it, of course if if you are a fan of wrestling and everything and. There's no point of us really going about selling. Yeah. Uh, talking about selling because if you're a real wrestling fan, and you know what selling is. You know what selling is, or else you wouldn't be on this fucking channel right now listening to us talk about it. And if you're, if you don't know what the hell selling is, it's when, it's when you're 
you pretend like he's hurt you. Yes. That, that's selling. Uh, which they actually get a former uh, eight-time NWA champion to play the booker on here. Yeah, I think they lied to Harley. <laughs> it was Harley Race. Yeah, you can like tell you can... it was Harley. Especially <laughs> like... that voice. You can't hide Harley's voice. The voice and the blonde hair with yeah. the sunglasses. Come on now. You can't hide Harley. Come right? on. You watch that. Go back and watch that. You can tell that they didn't put any effort whatsoever in the hiding Harley Race. In the hide and Harley Race. You just couldn't tell. Um, and of course, uh, the most one, one, one of, of the, the most, most stupidest, <laughs> stupidest things I ever seen was they say the Booker hands out signs. I never seen no Booker at the independent show handing out anything. Not even a fucking program. <laughs> the Booker's in the back talking about the match. No, the Booker's in there ma- collecting the paycheck. Is what he's doing. He's in there counting the money. He don't give a fuck about signs. You yeah. think he cares about that? Uh, I've been to live shows and I've never seen anybody hand out. Look, every time I see see a, see the guy, the booker, all I see him do is count the money. You know, uh, stiffing the boys on pay. But anyway, and then uh, calling the match, oh, yeah, uh, which of course most of you guys already you know, know what calling the match is. You know, you talk to him when and you got him in a headlock and and, and like in the corner, in the corner or whatever, or something like it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then w- another another thing, and the, they talk about the ring and how and how it's 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 soft. The ring is not soft. Uh, some some are some are some have more padding than others, but I, me and my co-host here, we've been in plenty of rings in our time, and some are softer than others. Yes. Uh, there was this one independent show. It felt like fucking. The floor, pretty yeah. much. I mean, it was, it was bad, and the worst part is that they let all the kids in the ring yeah. and stuff just to mess around in the ring, and it's like, you really gonna let all these kids in the ring and hurt themselves on that all that shit? Uh, and then of course another ridiculous thing. Yeah, they say they put a microphone under the ring. Well, well, independent shows I see have no apron. Actually, me and my co-host went to an independent show over the weekend. Last weekend. And they and had no apron. They had no apron whatsoever, so you could see clearly you under the ring. You could see clearly under the ring, and I didn't see no microphone. So I don't know what Sabrina the teenage bitch <laughs> cat was talking about. I don't think he's ever been to a wrestling show in his life. There was no microphone underneath that ring. Uh, then, of course, uh, the ref is part of the show. Well, he I turns see, a blind yeah. eye. Like, he, like, he calls shots when uh, yeah. you know he's the messenger if the wrestler Wrap didn't it up, give boys. it to him, you know? Well, fuck, no shit. No shit, cat. You fucking cat. You stupid motherfucker. Yeah, I can tell you don't watch wrestling. Where you been? A, 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 a fucking, a fucking Sherlock Stone's ass? Maybe. I think I Sherlock Stone. I don't fucking know. I don't watch Spring of the Teenage Bitch. I'm just being honest. Uh, then you got Heat. And, of course, if you know about wrestling, you know what Heat is. You gotta generate Heat. You gotta peep, you gotta... Make hate. people mad at you if you're yes. a heel, and you make people cheery if you're a baby face. But nowadays, it really don't mean shit. Uh, and then uh, another way to get heat is valet. It's cheap heat. You get on the mic, do uh, promos. Have your uh, manager help you. Exactly. Stuff I, like that. Th- that's pretty much cheap heat, you know, which is pretty much what local independent wrestlers do because they don't have necessarily the talent just to be a natural heel. That's right. And... You know, it's uh, and another thing is uh, plants, where they plant they plant people in the crowd. You know, with um, you know, like uh, the Booker plants fucking people out there. They talk about the the autograph bit. You know, and and say all oh, the key, the rest are whips, rips is rips the autograph book. But and then we come to find out the rest are some well, no shit Sherlock. Well, actually, uh, I was at an independent show one time, and it had Hardcore Holly there, and I was sitting next to this guy that had a that had a sign that said Hardcore Holly sucks, and we were in the front row. The guy was no relation to Hardcore Holly whatsoever, or uh, he he was in his you know uh, you know he was at least up you know in his twenties you yeah. know, and Bob Holly goes, "Oh, I suck, huh?" And he grabs the sign, rips it, and throws it on. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that was a 
you know, that that was a, a bit, you know. But, uh, and then, of course, one of the most ridiculous ones on The most ridiculous things I ever fucking heard in my, in my life about professional wrestling. The stunt granny. The stunt granny. The fucking stunt granny. You see that? And where'd She's... you get her? From the fucking nursing home? You know? Where'd you get her? Fucking nursing home down the road? Uh, the fuck is saying there's a stunt granny? I never seen no grandma down in the goddamn, you know? I don't see them getting pushed. What the fuck do the... That, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard in my fucking life. That made me laugh my ass off. There is no this... fucking stunt granny in goddamn wrestling. <laughs> If you, laugh, if you want to laugh, if you want to laugh, if you want to laugh, watch shit. His, if you want some hokey funny shit, watch Exposed Pro Wrestling's Greatest Secrets. You'll laugh all through that motherfucker. Yes, it, it, it was actually funny to us. It was. It was fucking funny. Uh, another thing is where they have the props with the with the tables and the chairs and 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 the salt. Uh, even though salt's not really a prop, it's just like a. And let's go to the chairs. Yes, the chairs are real. Yes. Yes. They fold it up, make sure to fold it up, and hit them across the back. You don't, you don't the hit them in the part of their arm. Yeah, you do not fucking hit them in the fucking face with a chair. Yeah. You know, there's certain ways you gotta hit people with a chair to make it, you know, that where it doesn't hurt the other person. Yeah. And then, and then the tables, they were talking about how the tables, some of them are kind of sawed in half a yeah. little bit and all that stuff. I don't know, I, you know. I've seen people go through tables. Yes. Live, actually. We've seen people go through tables at, at wrestling shows. And, and they don't know, look like it's sold off to me. It doesn't look like they're sold to me. And then you got the salt. The fuck all that is? And baby powder and chalk. Yeah. A damn fuck. Just to make the I illusion that. that it goes. It's more just like, puffs in the air. I was like, yeah, I know. I was in an indie show and I smelled baby powder. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the guy pulls it out and throws it. And then you, you just smell baby powder everywhere. You just like, smell oh. it. I was like, oh, really? I didn't know that. Really? Oh, my God. Then, of course, juicing. If you don't know what juicing... Well, there's actually two terms of juicing, but yeah. uh, this one we're talking about uh, about uh, ablating, you know, where where you get color. Somebody, you know, you, yeah. you get cut, you bleed, uh, something WWE doesn't do nowadays. Um, and then uh, the last one is... You uh, know, when you show, and they show you how to do it. Oh, yeah, with a little... Little uh, uh, was it like a razor blade yeah. or something? And he's you know he's little neck, little neck, and then the blood's gonna come out. And then the last part of this damn thing, which actually made me laugh almost as much as the fucking yeah. stunt granny. The big finish. The big finish. You know the backbreaker. What is this? What is this? Nineteen eighty-five. <laughs> what is this? Nineteen seventy-seven. The hurricane is not a finish anymore. No, it's not. Uh, the and, leg drop was. The leg drop. Oh. Oh, the leg grow. What's this? Hulk Hogan era? 1987? And then the, bulldog. the Bulldog. You know, no one uses... Who the fuck uses the... Oh, okay. Dustin Rhodes. I'm but sorry. That was in the 90s. Uh, well, well, this was 1998. I mean, yeah, this was... Yeah, but he didn't use the Bulldog <laughs> to finish in 98. Uh, he was using the... Uh, Kirk 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 Yeah. And then you got uh, the power driver, which I'll let that slide. Cause that's actually... Um, that is a dangerous maneuver. You know, but... The other four. The other four is like, like what the, f the, the, the you know, this is a 1998 special on NBC. They're making it's the, like, the, look, the, look the fucking like, big finish was like, I don't know. From the 70s yeah. or 80s. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, people don't use these fucking moves. They use them, but they use them in regular matches. They don't yeah, use them as yeah. a finishing move. Yeah, ain't no finishing move. What the fuck are you talking about there, Sabrina? <sighs> But anyway, fucking shit. If you want to laugh, right? if you want to laugh, if go you want to laugh and, and have a joke about the wrestling business, watch a uh, exposed pro wrestling's greatest secrets. Yes, it was horrible. It was a knockoff of what they did on the goddamn magic shit. Yeah, exposed magic secrets. Yeah, and all, and that, all bullshit. that bullshit. So they're like, oh, let's expose pro wrestling next. There we go. Well, pro wrestling's been the pro Re pro wrestling's been exposed so many times. It's ridiculous. Yes. So, uh, so what makes you any goddamn different? <laughs> Make sure that you like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Russell Rampage 2. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. And make sure you hit that subscribe button because we've got some more great video content coming up for you guys right here on Russell Rampage. And like we said, we are that cream that rises to the top. That's right. We are the cream of the crop. And nobody does it better. <laughs>